Well, thanks for joining us. We have to take a look at what stories there are front back pages of the newspapers and um, we're seeing that I can see Mrs. Jim Mensah dominating. Oh, okay. Featuring. Featuring. Featured. Dominating. Is it why? Dominating. Is it. Mm. Oh, yeah, so. And then the daily graphic also has a map. Yeah, the daily graphic is kind of like... Of the OT region without okay. them by there. I, this is a, I'm advocating, this is a paper, like a must have paper today. Yeah. For kids. Yes. You if know, you are a geography student doing BC, please keep this, keep this newspaper because you know, no doubt this question will come. You know, back in the day. Draw the new map of Ghana. But yeah, I'm sure. Have they done yeah. Compulsory okay. question. Why? Yeah. Mm. VHS. Mm. You know, back in the day, um, our folks used to keep the old newspapers. I don't know whether they will do that. You know, the internet is there for yeah. The map is pretty much the same. Like, we haven't expanded in terms of uh, well, our boundaries. We yeah? can't possibly. We've just divided ourselves further. Mm -hmm. mm. If we don't go mm -hmm. to eat loss. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. We have to go to traffic.com.js, let's not yeah. forget. So, we have uh, the Ring Road Central Route. And let's bring you the latest from there. And um, well, if you look at the routes, it's now empty as usual this time of the it morning. It's way. It's uh, very empty. So if you know that this is your usual route, this is the time for you to set off and quickly just get through the road and get to your destination as quickly as you can. And then also we have to look at um, the next uh, points that we'll be looking at. And it will be the Tema end of the Accra Tema motorway and construction is ongoing. It's part of the exp expanded extension of um, the Tema Harbour, the MPS project. Mm -hmm. And so you have um, construction ongoing. But today it looks like a uh, usual Monday. But the traffic is hectic this time, especially mm -hmm. from the Afienya, Michel Camp. Uh, Tema Shama runabout stretch towards the runabout, uh, the Tema end of the motorway. So it means that you're in trouble. If you're not in traffic there, you have to get to work in the next 30 minutes. It will take you some time, hmm. but you'll still get there, only not in time. Is this a, 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 a parking mechanic area? shop or something here where all these cars are parked? Mm -hmm. Or it's a car park? I think, okay, it looks like a car park. Mm. All right. Mm. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I have to move on and uh, we're looking at the next route. Mm. So our next spot is um, Airport City and uh, there you go, that's the airport shell. Gosh, it's looking like it hasn't woken up yet. Yeah. But it will, trust me, it will. So uh, keep your eyes on it and then... Um, but we have the, as usual, those coming from the, the Takwashi, the spin test road, you know that bypass that's there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, before the runabout. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Very late. The, the polo traffic. grounds. Also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's always quite packed there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, there you go. Um, maybe one more or two more? Two more. Okay. Burma Camp. We go to the Bemokam Gifford Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking pretty drowsy. Yeah, not much. Not much going on. You're fine on that road for now, but make it quick before you lose the window. Okay. Right. We're done? Yeah, I think. We, no, we'll go to Tetekwashi. Yeah, in Tetekwashi. Oh, the oh, big one. Today. Mm -hmm. It's quite. Uh, Free at this time of the morning, very unusual. Yeah. Six uh, thirty-six, as it is. We have um, our time check in the studio. Yeah. Wow. wow. TQ is looking smooth. Wow. Very mm. unusual. All right then. Okay, so we're making this possible uh, for you through the website www.traffic.com.gh, and please make sure that you check out the site throughout the rest of the day but uh, let's look at the newspapers mm -hmm. you also, but we'll start with the daily graphic all right the daily graphic newspaper they say it's official the new look uh ghana and that's why the paper is the way it is today Very uh, so it's not like front and back the front and back <laughs> one okay that's it so ha that's how it looks 
uh, pretty tall today. Yeah. And it says Ioko saves 9,000 clients from three Ponzi schemes. That's also another headline on the front page of the paper. Where disappointed Nigerians in Ghana tell INEC for postponing presidential poll. But Inji Danso says it is a good decision. That's the Nigerian election. Uh, by this time, we're supposed to either be uh, knowing who is winning or something of the sort, results trickling in. But that didn't happen on Saturday because hours before the uh, opening of the poll, we were told that election had been postponed mm. to mm. a week. All right, it's so... What, it's what those who um, were afraid of losing would call a last-minute Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting thing is that the the governing party and the and the key opposition uh, person mm. or the party they are all you know accusing each other everybody thinks that this was done for the other person so really yeah <laughs> yeah that's what has been trickling in and uh, there, there seem to be a lot of kind of uh, you look at the permutations and the commentary that has been coming in and accusations of somebody b being caught with some ballot papers, yeah. with results sheets being tallied on a certain paper. Mm. And um, it's been interesting. There was a, a live coverage of that press conference by the INEC chair mm. uh, on Saturday. It was quite instructive. Explaining mm. the postponement. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. It was, um, it was very instrumental in putting things to bed, even mm. though there's been a lot of commentary. Mm. Um, a number of Ghanaians have been there now for a few days. Uh, they had intended to be observers. Um, uh, LBC Free Ankara is there. Uh, Charlotte Osei has been going back and forth. And um, Does yeah. Peter Makmenu as well? Indeed. And uh, but yes, I suppose they had all expected by now to be fully engrossed mm. in writing reports on how it all went. But no, This will be part of the observation. Yes, it will. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it will be. Yeah. 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 Once, and this one also means that once the thing didn't happen in the polling station area, the elections will be declared free and fair. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief. What sort of shit? We'll talk, are you we'll talk a lot there? more about Nigeria when we get to indeed, the international indeed, segment indeed. of the review. All right, let's do, let's do the daily guide real quick. Oh, are, are you done, uh, uh, Marty? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Daily Guide, um, Mahama lies in quotes um, to diplomats, uh, Ejakon hits back. Chumbua for hot over free zones money. Confusion in NDC over cash. Eoko retrieves 61 million Ghana cities from tax defaulters. And Veep convoy in accident. On the back page, Herbert for Africa rugby top post. Tafo ready for President Pata. Um, court orders are asked to appear as Sanidara floors Tiger Eye. And Napo gives Menchia South three astroturfs. Well, well. Uh, Ghanaian Times as well, real quick. Who will be next president is a story on page four. It's about Nigeria. Mm. And um, no policeman was assaulted during the by-election. That's Gene Mensa at the Commission of Inquiry into Ayawasa by-election uh, violence. Five killed, six injured in a Dwejiri accident. And banner headline, President declares Western and North, uh, Western North and Oti New Regions. Sefirioso and Dambai named regional capitals. And the back page. Customs Division of GRA exceeds revenue target for January. Well, that's good news. A uh, German couple builds chips compound for communities in Dubai. Lucky them. And that does it for the Ghanaian Times. Yeah. Now we have to look at the Daily Statement newspaper. It has on the front page, Government Fires Mahama. That's the Daily Statement newspaper. Uh, put diplomats on notice over JDM lies. Minister of Information Kujo Pongkuma addressed the media over the weekend from the Eastern Regional Capital, Kofodia, uh, NPA to liaise with Navy to fight fewer smugglers. And then we have President urges uh, OT Volta regions to develop in peace. They are two distinct regions. So, uh, Six new districts to be inaugurated tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow, eh? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Have you had hmm. some coffee? Yeah, hmm. huh. some coffee, coffee, <laughs> some coffee. And then uh, I'll take a look at the Herald newspaper. It has on the front page, Freddie Blay 
and KK Sapong turn GMPC into boxing arena over procurements, uh, but Flagstaff House looks on. We also have um, also on the front page of the Herald newspaper, GCB sacks hundreds of workers with only one month's salary. Ghana water workers descend on Akwenyo Market again. Um, Bureau of Ghana Languages staff court diverting contract. Those are the stories we have on the front page hmm. of the Herald newspaper. Hmm. Let's do the Finder newspaper, and there's a story that caught my attention. We will share a bit. But on the front page, it says two NACOP operatives interdicted for their alleged involvement in drug trafficking. One of the key suspects is a driver uh, from a second department that's supposed to be watching people who do this and, hmm. and, and fish them out. He and he is uh, uh, also told in the paper that he's related to the acting executive secretary of NACOP. Very uh, interesting details. Also, GCB Bank sacks 56 over qualifications. Landlords risk prosecution for harboring undocumented foreigners. I saw a statement that was issued by the immigration service. They say if you're renting your apartment or your house to a foreigner, you have a duty to ensure that they are legally they are lawfully allowed to live in the country before you give your property out to them Indeed. otherwise you will be prosecuted mahama must apologize for lying to diplomats according to governments victims of crash involving dr baumia's convoy doing well the paper says but i think there was also an accident on the cape coast road uh three persons die on on the spot there very horrific accident yeah. over the weekend. The Pontiac and the Toyota Hilux. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that will be it for the final, at least for the headlines. Uh, yeah. But, okay, the dispatch says MPP and NDC, the Daily Dispatch newspaper, MPP and NDC can easily get more women into parliament and then MPA and Ghana to save Ghana. 20 million, 200 million, 200 million US dollars. And reports from the a World War, um, A W W Violence Commission. A That's World it. War. Sorry, um, <laughs> I was the West War gone. Commission. Mm -hmm. And then they have the six new regions and their capitals there. This one, well summarized on the back page. On the dispatch. The Today newspaper plot against GMPC boss exposed has a picture of Dr. K K Sapong. GMPC boss. Good morning to you, Dr. K.K. Sapong. Hope you're doing well. And then uh, Mahama Hortz, uh, later Jakun's family strips him naked. Those will be a summary of um, the stories that are featured on the front and back pages of the newspapers. Any pick? Mm, let's, let me do the Nakop story. And then there's also Yoko in the Daily Graphic newspaper. But this Nakop story on page two, story by Elvis Dako in Accra, uh, says that two officers of the Narcotics Control Board both operatives have been interdicted for allegedly aiding and abetting drug barons in the narcotics trade. One of them is a driver, um, a, a driver of NACOP's investigation department, who is said to be uh, an uncle to the acting executive secretary, Francisco Fitokonu, and he's alleged to be the Kimping and uh, another person who was stationed at the Kotuka International Airport. But they say that... The driver this, is the Kimping? Yes, that's what, according to the story, the driver is. They've been aiding and abetting drug barons. The other person is stationed at the Kotuka International Airport. So this came to light but like some six months ago. Mm -hmm. This was discovered some mm -hmm. six months ago. But they say that uh, because of the links and blah, 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 uh, NACOP didn't do anything about it until some media uh, outlets got hints of the story. And so, you know, there was pressure from civil society and the media. And so they were forced to set up a committee to look into the matter. But this was a, a Ghana and United States operation. There are two different departments that uh, did the discovery, it. exactly. So that's why they, they are here at this point in terms of interdicting these two persons. So that, six months ago, right? Six months ago, and, um, according and, to the story. And over those six months, these people, were they still They were still, post? yes, they were still, you and, know, and, and, and the link running to, around. And the link to the chief executive. They, so they the, driver, the driver is apparently related, according to the story in the paper, related to And that's to why the, the investigations acting, haven't, hadn't been carried out. Well, they out, didn't yeah. make that direct link. Yeah. They didn't make mm. that direct link. But there's a lot more to the story. You can check it out. 
Yeah. There's a there's a there's a hmm, there's a lot of concern at, about our security um, institutions and whether indeed Ghana is secure. You know, um, our intelligence agencies can hear have a tip off of you know mm. weapons in in the home of a of a parliamentary candidate, uh, which they first thought was a warehouse. They can observe this place for 24 hours, then go there with guns, fire several shots, not arrest anybody, come back and report to their superiors that they fired six shots and injured no one. And we, we can't even verify this information. If someone fired six shots, you should be able to verify. When you send someone out with a weapon, you must make a record of how many bullets that person has been assigned so that when they come back, they account. That's what you do in any mm -hmm. armed force. But we, we can't do that. So we don't know whether it's six or... or, or how we can. We can do that. We do that. I listened to uh, <laughs> you know? Professor Henry Tamensa Woods' this question mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. To the National Security Minister yeah. about the ownership of the property. Mm -hmm. So she said you monitored the place for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But you didn't establish the ownership. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I thought it was you very didn't, interesting. You didn't, you didn't you know, when for you begin 24 to, hours. When you, you begin to listen out. to bits and pieces of the interrogation, is it interrogation or questioning? It's a uh, question. Yeah, testimony. Very interesting. Testimony. It exposes a lot. Yes. It exposes a lot. Look. Now you said I have to go back and get the exact answer. <gasps> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we have one state, one state and various state institutions headed by appointees who all emanate from one source. So I'm thinking, at least couldn't they have compared notes? Let's say, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes mm -hmm. a project manager, if you're given a certain project, it could be here, any mm -hmm. other, your home, whatever. Mm -hmm. You create a certain platform, WhatsApp, and then you try to share information so that everybody falls in line yeah. and is consistent with communication. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I think security and all the good people who appeared there all they could have done was just create a small WhatsApp platform. You have Kandapa. And compare notes. You have the 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 DSP from from Legon. Ah, then you, I'm telling you, then you have Mr. Brian Echampo. Good morning, Mr. Brian Echampo. Um, then he was there for what's that group? Yeah, and, I was and, on then the EC, and then the And then the EC weekend. boss. You mm -hmm. have the EC mm -hmm. boss on it. Then you have then, then they are all consistent. Then when they go, they have one. So they can like tell the same so, lie. So you no, see, it's not a lie. Let me, let me, yeah, let me, I the, tell me it's a lie. But the, the six thing bullets, about, the six thing bullets about, are you linking knock up to, to this one? <laughs> you were there. Was it six? Are you linking knock up um, to this one? Yes, I'm uh, just saying that okay, there so are Okay, so let me add one more. Uh -huh. So the, there are more issues than knock up. Apparently they bought one swivel chair for 10,000 Ghana cities. Knock oh up. my goodness. <laughs> this is sweet. From where? I don't know. Yeah. Swivel chair. No. Does it swivel around the world? No, like there's a one normal swivel chair. From your stationary shop. 10,000 10, Ghana, Ghana cities. No. Ghana. That's, enough, <laughs> that's enough to fly you to England and back. So, so apparently there's Twice. some kind of disconnect. The deputy executive secretary and some other uh, heads of management, they actually don't Look, don't people are stealing happening. money. So let's, there are things let's happening be very careful. Let's be very careful. Some of these things are an indication of, uh, they're at the tip of an iceberg. Of course. You know, and there might be people stealing massive amounts of money in our institutions. We need to, be, we need to keep an eye on these things. And we can't, we can't keep pretending that um, people will police themselves. Yeah. But the thing you about NACOP, which, which is also worrying, the fact that they don't have a board. So, so there's no kind so of So they've like been oversight. operating for two years with no board. There's no board. Look, let me tell let me tell you this. Um, with our security agencies, who I don't know where so it's it's hilarious. I, I can't you know, deny. I was at the hospital on Friday. I was listening to the things. I said from Thursday. I was listening to the things. I said because you know when we went there, the shootings were on for about fifteen to twenty minutes. So I don't know. Maybe they every. So I decided to divide. The six the bullets. Six, yeah, yes. And by the, yes, the so 20 said, minutes. Oh, yes. yeah, let's take 15. So I said maybe every eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, no. And maybe every five or four minutes. Then That's they, one warning. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to <laughs> wait every four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but me, I was hearing. <laughs> and you know, here's the thing. So our intelligence agency did, couldn't know. determine whose house it was. They went there, they fired six shots, uh, warning shots, 
they can't tell us who was armed and who was not armed. Oh, it's a joint SWAT team force and 30% of because them were the, armed. The, and the another... warehouse was locked. Uh -huh. <laughs> 30% were armed and another but, percentage but, but, were not but, armed. They fired, they fired at us and then we fired warning shots. But we never arrested anybody or found any arms. But you know and the, we came back. But you know the we press. We came back empty handed. You know, the press asked, um, is it Chief, Chief Soup, Chief Soup Kusifori, yes. Director, Director of Operations, operations. Accra, Accra Police Command, mm -hmm. whether he knew the people who had left five minutes prior to he came. He said no. And so uh, I think some, uh, some journalists asked him, are you part of the election operation? He said yes. Yeah, because this, the, the, the election operation was actually his mission. Okay. You mm. remember when the East Ligon commander okay. appeared and said he didn't yes. include him? I, right. I didn't listen to it. Okay. Mm. East mm -hmm. So you are part of the election security operations, mm. but you don't know a a this was SWAT. Th this one had monitored 24 hours. They came mm -hmm. from national security. No, so, so yeah. you know, so it, it brought a lot what, what, of... And then the EC commissioner also said there was no... Disruption? Disruption It was to, only... No, no, no. Was no. But the police... For 45 minutes. Yeah. It didn't have any impacts on the election. Anta. So one of the parties in the election <laughs> actually declared that they will not participate anymore and instructed all of their followers not to come out and vote. But the EC chair says that didn't have an impact on the election. How is she measuring it? How is she able to tell that that had no impact? How, how can she tell? But for me, anyway, for me, the security issue is the big problem. Mm. It's a, it's, and it's a very big problem. Look, it's either our security agencies are covering up something, national security, it's either they are covering up something or they are woefully incompetent, and Ghana is a very dangerous place to live. It's one of those two. There is no third option. <laughs> so they have to decide now which of the two it is, and then stick to it. It's either they are lying to us, they are covering up something, they actually know what they are doing, but what, they are Kojo. deceiving us. So you are head of or the... Or they don't have a clue. You are head of the, the, the... Should I say head of the department? Or you are the um, national security minister. You know that you'll be appearing before... A commission looking into this matter but you haven't finished you you haven't been fed you don't have information so you go and you're talking like you're part of the commissioner seeking to find answers <laughs> like, Gee, you also it's want terrible. an answer to this question it's that terrible. i'm asking you and you know how they said <laughs> they said they went there they fired warning shots in the end they arrested nine people who were resisting arrest but you've seen the videos right you've seen the videos there is one from uh, one of our competitor stations where they are beating people, hitting them with that little axe thing that you described. And, Poma, it's, Poma. Uh, and it's obvious. I mean, you can see four or five people beating one person. So who is resi that one person was resisting arrest or what? And then you see them chasing someone, booting the person on the ground, uh, kicking them. You know, the guy, the right guy they said they are going to amputate his leg. He was chased from the, from the, gent from the, the house mm -hmm. that they said they were monitoring, the mm -hmm. White House. That belongs to Mr. Brimpong. Yes. And he rounded the, the corner of the school building. Mm -hmm. And they were still chasing him. Because and the guy had been shot. Because he's he was resisting blood, arrest. Chasing him, beating him up. Oh, is, that how, is that how you, you handle someone who is resisting arrest? Six of you start beating him and he's on the ground and you're kicking him in the head. With bullets. Now, we're resisting told, arrest. We're, we're told that his, his leg is nobody, going bad. They said nobody was hit, nobody was hit by their bullets. So anyway. maybe it was the people inside the house shooting. So I will retrieve the guns that were used to no. shoot the people. And Brian Achampo admits it. He says, oh, maybe the people should have completed their mission. And, and but there were, know, but there were bullet, bullet casings. And the bullet, you see, usually you have, you have um, regimes by which you bring in arms into Ghana. And they have identified contractors who have been given contract by the ministry. Defense, if it's interior, I don't know which one. And so you can trace who brings in which type of weaponry, which contractor does that. Well, we are in Ghana. And, and no, no, and no, no, this no, can be done. No, I and know, this can be done. But we are in so, Ghana. No, That's no, what no, I mean. no, 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 no. Please, let's so, go. And, okay. then, and then there are certain yeah. 
um, arms mm -hmm. that belong to certain security institutions, mm -hmm. unless maybe they've been You're talking like you, you are watching like CSI or something. Yeah, that's because, because, that but, but that's, that's this. Yes. Do you so, see no. that that will happen? Okay, so, so <laughs> Mamavi's point is that perhaps even the records uh, that should be kept through which you would trace this bullet casing to this contractor. Even if we did. Perhaps those records don't even exist, but even if they if did. No, but even the contractor have delivered, so they will deliver to the ministry Roland, or whoever even gave if we them did. A, a, a role. And the point is, Sincerely, you think that we will do this? In order for you to trace it back, you must have the record. Somebody must have written down the batch number. Even the this, police car, the, car, the eh? vehicle with police. Uh -huh. The police people say they don't know it's they existence. They say it's not there. Ah, they said it at the you know, they, they, <laughs> they have assigned a contingent of police <laughs> to, to national security. So, the vehicle Roland, to who? Roland, so can I? they have assigned a contingent of police to national security. Ah. But the police don't know them. They assign them all. So but this the, police, is the, the IGP doesn't know them. This is the, the interior minister doesn't know them. The director general of police operations doesn't know them. Please, that's too many people not knowing. Too many people not knowing. An entire police contingent who are drawing a salary every month and they are assigned to national security, but nobody knows about oh, them. Yeah, okay. Nobody knows about them. Only national security knows about them. And they armed them that day to go out there and find weapons. They didn't find any weapons. They beat people, shot people, five, six, six bullets, came back, and now the, minist you see, the ministers, now which one is in charge? Minister of National Security or minister <coughs> uh, at the office of the president in charge of national security? No, no, Which no. Of them? Um, so the national security minister said Brian reports to him. Uh. What? Okay, can I cool down the conversation? You know, do you realize that it's almost seven? Yeah, so we have to go and do... <laughs> that doesn't cool me down at all. <laughs> okay. I, wanted, I wanted to share uh, Joyce Jijos' video. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay, please, just That's before you show really it, cool please, please, down I, 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 I wish you did the video. I've it will the video. cool down. <laughs> it, it will cool me down, but just before we share it, sure. the important thing about President Mahama calling the uh, uh, diplomatic corps and showing them some videos. Mm. The Kujo Pong Krumah, the Minister for Information, has come out to say that the, uh, the former president peddled falsehood. Something very quick on this, please. First, in terms of the former president, uh, clearly he got at least one thing wrong. He showed them a video and said that these are some of the security people who committed the violence dancing at the funeral of um, uh, Emmanuel Chemati Jaku. That was not Mr. Chemati Jaku's funeral. That at least he got wrong. But secondly, I, I have to question the former president's motives. I mean, when you call the diplomatic corps to give them this briefing, is it that you think they don't know what is happening here? If you go to the British embassy, American embassy, Canadian embassy, they can tell you things that you don't know about your country. So are you sure? I mean, what was the intention? And as a former president, he, he knows this. So what was the intention with which he called them? Are you that's, asking? Yes, I'm, I mean, you know me. I ask questions. Yes, so that's, oh, that's, that's, that's point one. But then the response of the government is, is also interesting. So Kujo Pong Krumah says he's peddling falsehood because the people that were dancing were not dancing at um, Chemati Jaku's funeral. So he got the wrong funeral. He also says that uh, there's a video of some of these individuals following the uh, candidates, and uh, he says they follow them from polling station to polling station. Kojo Pongkruma says that is also not true. But then the third video of them beating up people and assaulting people and all of that, as for that one, there's been no denial. So it's kind of like the government, you know, it's like the, the way the government is responding, it's kind of like um, if you tell somebody that you, you are a gossip and a child molester, and the person says, that's a lie, I'm not a gossip. <laughs> Pretty much how government has responded to this. The substantive matter, that one there, you are not saying that is false. Ah, but the but charges the were wrong true. Wrong funeral. The charges were true. What charges were true? What you put on the table. What charges? You anyway, said gossip. Anyway, the main anyway, molester. anyway at, mm, at, at so what? I'm not a gossip. <laughs> I think that really, really exonerates you in any way. Anyway, right, let's I'm watch sure that the video. video. Is ready. Let's watch that video. <laughs> It's coming out of Ghana. I'm from Ghana and we are building a church for Jesus Christ to come and live in Ghana because we have too much problem. We do not have enough food for the children. We do not have enough drinking water. We do not have ambulances. So when people fall sick, they die. So we are raising $100 million in Ghana to build a church for Jesus to come and solve our problems. We need your donation. 
She's if she's throwing shade, then that's brilliant. That's I mean that's that's so satirical and, and, and it's brilliant. It's it's funny. Yeah, it's that's hilarious. Uh, you know, I, I often think of doing little videos like this, but I'll get into trouble. You know, yeah, you will. about this same national about this same national <laughs> cathedral. You? About this same national cathedral, I had wanted to do a video of some fetish priests in their grass skirts standing somewhere in cantonments, pointing to some buildings and saying that they would also like to have those buildings cleared for the national shrine to be built. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, I mean, do it will that, be hilarious. If right? I do that, I'll get into trouble. No, so but you've shared Joyce your concept, Gijon so it's fine. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce Gijon is, is, oh is throwing word. some serious shit well, there. That's hilarious. Uh, there are other stories in the newspapers <laughs> that you can check out. So uh, GCB Bank has sacked some 56 persons because they say they don't meet the minimum qualification. Right. Uh, so they're still downsizing in a way, cross-checking mm. what they had inherited uh, from UT. Yeah. And the rest. Yes, exactly. Royal. Bank. So, yeah. Uh, and then uh, this other story also saying that Iyoko has saved some 9,000 clients from three Ponzi schemes. So they, they did it in good time. So I people see. would not lose their money. Wow, Iyoko, okay. well done. That. I wish you Is had done that with them. <laughs> more well you know, I don't know those you two see? Ponzi schemes. I've never heard of them. But I had heard of Men's Gold. Had they not? I, I have a question on this note real quick. Uh, governments or the police, there was a joint Iyoko police statement telling us uh, after that delegation that went to Dubai, they told us that number one was appearing before or going through a certain process. The first court appearance, they gave us the dates that we were all talking about that it was mm -hmm. a Saturday. But after that, Valentine's we haven't Day. been no, updated. We have updated that will be Valentine's Day. Not through a statement, but through media reports. Uh, that he will uh, appear on be Valentine's saying, Where's the official communication? Where's the, so what's the updates? That's what I'm asking. Where are mm. we with the process. In I think we shouldn't be that. begging for this, especially mm. when they spent our monies to travel to to Dubai to, to go and <laughs> find out that he was going Mama through a certain wanted to be invited um, to that trip. So, so please, you, 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 you owe us a trip. duty. If they have to go again and update us, <laughs> that's fine. I think they have anyway, to go it's again. Time for sports. <laughs> it's time for sports now. Dubai, they do sports. <laughs> so we'll be back.